Hey. Um, I kind of thought that this vlog should, you know, it's going to be a weekend vlog, but I kind of thought it should start on a different day, you know, on a day where I've just come back from work. I want to give a I'm to you know. I've just come back from work and I'm about to cook. I felt like spaghetti bolognese today, okay? And that's exactly what I'm going to have because I hardly have any pasta, what what things. So I kind of figured that I'm going to make that today. I'm so tired. This wig has got to come off, sis, because I haven't worn a wig in so long that I genuinely feel like my head is being squished. But from Gatiba, it must come off. So, um, okay, stop blowing up my phone. Whoever the hell is blowing up my phone. Um, so I'm gonna cook. I'm gonna prepare some food. I'm gonna chat with you guys for a little bit. I hope this thing is clear because me, yeah, I can't see. Woo, hua baba, But, um, yeah, yeah, let, let me, let me cook. I've, I'm gonna make spaghetti bolognese. Did I say that? I did say that. Okay, so I wanted to show you what I've chopped up so far uh, because this is pretty much the messiest process of the whole thing like i hate the chopping up process so i often start with that before i even place the parts and everything but for the most part what's going to be going into the mints um is the mushrooms the red onions i use strictly red onions now i don't know something about them i really really enjoy and love red onions um these are the peppers these are what the sweet peppers, the red and yellow peppers, and they come in green. The robot peppers, yep. And then this is uh, the tomato. That's going to form, form. That's going to form part of the relish. And an extra that's going to be added in there is this. And I've been asked about this in I think two of my cooking videos back then when I still used to enjoy cooking in the kitchen. <laughs> now I don't cook that much anymore. But this is a staple in this house. Okay, I love, love, love the Miami tomato sweet tomato relish. There's a garlic one, and there's I think one that's slightly hotter as well. It is delicious for um, what's this uh, spaghetti bolognese. I think it's fantastic. So I normally add some tomatoes just for a little bit of grit in the uh, mince. And then I will add a little bit of this and mwah, it comes out so, so, so good. Um, of course, garlic. Garlic goes with everything. So we're going to add a little bit of that um, crushed garlic in with the red onions so yeah in the meantime we're sort of waiting for the water to boil this is for the pasta and as you guys know i use the whole wheat pasta so i've got the spaghetti here this is whole wheat spaghetti um uh, from woolies made from 100 percent durum wheat can't even tell you what that means and then in this pot here i've just got a little bit of oil going as you can see so that i can add my um those two, those two over there. Let me add some of. Oh yeah, listen to that sizzle. I'm gonna add some of this in here before we add the mints. I'm gonna skip out uh, the adding of the mints part because that grosses some people out. I've noticed that um, quite a few people don't like seeing that. And then I'm gonna add, of course, the crushed garlic, which is over here smells amazing i'm just gonna add two small uh, teaspoons of that stuff the water is already boiling which is nice uh, if this is the case if the pasta is that long i'll just sort of chop it in half like so and throw it in there so that's the pasta in there we're gonna just let that come to a boil quickly. I've added the meat and I've added 
some spices and yet to add the oh, this, the black pepper but i don't know about you but if you grew up in a black south african household you will know how important brown onion spice is okay whether it's the brown onion soup the minstroni soup or the brown onion seasoning this stuff is bomb it's delicious so i highly suggest that you try this out for your meat seasonings and what have you it's absolutely amazing it smells so good and then i like to add some black pepper because i add a little bit of uh paprika for a little bit of spice which is nice i've got it here just in case you all ain't sure about what i'm adding just a little bit for a little bit of pizzazz um yeah so for me the mince is pretty much uh almost ready so what i do now the thing is i like to once I've added every single ingredient, I will then have it simmer down and sort of cook into the meat. So now we add the mushrooms. What we add in sis, okay. <laughs> Let's have a look, see. Oh, yes, honey. Ooh, I love. And then we add the tomatoes, of course. Normally, I would add chopped tomatoes. Or sometimes, if I don't add the chopped tomatoes, I'll then sometimes add Italian whole peeled tomatoes, depending on whether I'm lazy or not. If I'm lazy, I just take the whole thing and I dump it in there. Um, but today I wasn't feeling that lazy, so yeah. The one that I showed you earlier is a new one. So I'll just pretty much take this and, yeah, it's pretty much uh, a quarter of the bottle. So we'll just add the whole thing and then stir it. But it ends up looking something like this. And then what I would do is then reduce the heat to two and then let it simmer and watch the magic that happens okay now. so i've got my little um pasta contraption drain out the water dish here which is pretty much in the sink but it's slightly elevated so it's not like my pasta is hitting the sink sus, sus. the water is not completely out yet because i do not i learned when i was in italy that pasta too soft is not a real thing so i just wanna do that Nice. And baggy stainless steel. Baggy stainless steel. It's stainless steel. Okay. Okay, so it's time to dish up because okay, so I'm hungry. I'm hungry and I gotta eat, so I've got some lunch for tomorrow here. I'm just going to dish up some of this pasta, just a little bit of it for dinner, literally just a little bit, just a little bit, oh my god, oh my god, bolognese, I've been living for you, looks extremely appetizing to me if you ask me, okay, I just even want to dive into that because I'm famished. Mmm, 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 mmm. Now I saw, I think I saw a panini plush, you know. I feel like if you gotta go bad, then go bad all the way. Where is it? Mm hmm I was right. If you gotta go bad, you gotta go bad all the way. Okay, I need a drink, okay? I could have it with some wine, but I really don't feel like having wine. So we're just gonna have a little dinner with a banini. Whoops, with a banini blush. Woo! You be like a pair of jazz. What would I have a pair of jazz? How to roll a pair of jazz again? Please comment down below and let me know what it means. I wanted to show you guys this mess. I'm in the the room in which I record. There's my DSLR. There's the ring light. But this mess right here. 
I need to tidy this shiz up, okay? Like, it's a mess. That's that time of the night I just had dinner um, I gotta take off this face well this remnants of this face and I want to show you what I got recently um, so I got gifted wow panty liner hello so I get <laughs> so I got gifted this set from this and I think two more other products which are in here somewhere but uh, I got gifted this set from Bioderma recently and I'm actually going to be trying it out tonight for the first time so I'm really really excited I'm looking forward to it um, let's let's see how it goes I was supposed to try it out the first night that they gave it to me and I was just like so tired okay so I'm gonna pull out one of these I picked these up from um, this Kim, I love the fact that they're just so thick and big and, and, and. Um, let's try and get this micellar water open. Just dabble, 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 dabble some of that on there. And I'm going to use my viewfinder to see. Oh, I think I got too much work in the eye area. No particular smell to it. If you are, um, I'm just going to use a different cotton pad because I can't deal when they're that dirty. Um, if you are a, if you know the micellar waters from Bioderma, they all sort of have the same scent. So this range is very, very good for hyperpigmentation, which is something that I struggle from, especially around the areas around my mouth and just under here. I struggle with that but I've heard that just under here the the dark circles around your eyes are often uh, hereditary as well now I am going to try this which is the my cellar water worked pretty much fine because it looks like it's pretty much got most most things off so first let me just wet my face which is typically what I do before I'm just gonna just dabble on some of that. Ooh, it's got a little um, micro. Ooh, okay. This is not something I would use every day. It smells amazing. Um, it's got little micro balls in it, um, which is great for exfoliating and sort of moving off. Um, dead skin cells and all of that which is great but definitely not something um i would use every day for me personally i wouldn't use it every day pretty much got everything off that's great let's pull that back in there skin doesn't feel as tight it does feel of course dry because hello hello then for the uh, cream see as you can see it's the first time i'm using it so for the cream we are going to use this night cream it's ooh, it's more like a gel if you look on the inside that's what it looks like so it is more like a gel which is nice just apply that i'm very very uh, i prefer using the spoons for this but i honestly genuinely don't know where the spoons are so yeah and then I'm just gonna oh that feels nice feels very cooling which is very very nice especially after you've exfoliated oh yeah mm -hmm. but for now really really like it skin looks clean 
we'll just have to keep trying it and see how it goes from here on out okay if i gotta go i gotta go i'll see you in the next clip which will probably be from tomorrow okay